Hi everyone, this is Rafai Talmukin again and today I'm going to be explaining or giving a small lecture or revision lecture on equilibrium for some of my favorite students for, to prepare for them for their finals. So here it is, what basically equilibrium is. Equilibrium is basically the price at which quantity demanded of a product is equal to the quantity supplied. Let me write it down for all of you. Equilibrium There you go. Here's the definition written. Equilibrium is the point on price and quantity graph at which the demand and supply curve of a particular product intersects. For example, we normally draw a demand and a supply curve in a price and quantity diagram. Now, the thing is, if a supply curve of any product is basically upward sloping like this and we denote a supply curve using S and a demand curve is basically D. D denotes for the demand curve. This point of intersection of the demand curve and the supply curve is called the equilibrium. Alright, this is the point of equilibrium and the price at which this point is found is called the market price for example the price set for rice is 10 and that price is set by the interaction of the demand curve and the supply curve and the quantity traded at this price is 1000 units so this particular price 10 is the market price and this is the quantity traded what equilibrium is is that normally we buy products at different prices different prices products differ from each other or sometimes equal to each other but price changes price goes up price goes down the question is why do we buy a product at a particular price price of a product is different basically because of equilibrium wherever the equilibrium is or the price at which the demand and supply curve intersect is the equilibrium point and the price set at this point is the market price or the equilibrium price so if you're buying a candy for 10 bucks in your market or from your local store that's because the demand and the supply curve of that candy fix the price of the product at 10. if you buy that same candy for 100 bucks after like two months that's because the demand and supply curve for that product sets the price for that candy at 100 which i'll show later on but basically equilibrium is the point of intersection of the demand curve and the supply curve and it sets the market price of the product okay and what other thing which i'm going to show you is total revenue or sales this is basically how much money or the amount of money generated from sale of output this is the amount of money amount of money generated So this is the basically for example if if a product or the price of the product which you're selling is 10 bucks and if you're selling only one product then your total sales will be 10 into 1 which is 10. In this case the price of the product is set 10 so price is 10 and quantity uh, traded for the at that price is 1000 so the quantity will be 1000 so total sales will be 
10,000 that will be your sales revenue basically sales shows or sales revenue or total revenue shows how much money we will generate by selling a certain amount of goods basically price is the market price and the quantity trade is the quantity which we use to calculate sales and after this this is basically the initial understanding about equilibrium let me repeat equilibrium is the point of intersection of demand curve and the supply curve it says the market price and the quantity that will be traded simple as that now what i'm going to show you is that how equilibrium changes what is the effect of equilibrium equilibrium in simple term is nothing but the point of intersection of the demand curve and the supply curve now the question which might start or which might come from this particular chapter throughout your economic studies is that what happens when demand rises what we have seen so far in our previous chapters and in your previous studies and or is that when demand rises the demand curve shifts the demand curve shifts right away. so let me show you an example for example this is a price and quantity diagram for a particular product right so this is a uh, basically a simple demand curve d1 and a simple supply curve s1 so when demand rises or when demand for any product increases the demand curve shifts right toward so before shifting what we can see is that over here we, this is the equilibrium and this is the price for example p1 is the price of the product and q1 goods are traded so when demand rises the demand curve shifts right toward demand curve will basically shift right toward. and when the demand curve shifts right toward the new this will be our new equilibrium we're going to call it e2 and the old equilibrium was e1 and at this new equilibrium the price is p2 and quantity trade is q2 so what we can see is that uh, when demand rises the demand curve shifts right toward for which the equilibrium shifts from e1 to e2 and at e2 the price goes up to p2 what we can see the price of the product is going up we have seen in news and different occasions that we have heard news saying that price of, of any product is going up or will go up because demand is going up so this is the explanation when demand goes up the equilibrium changes and equilibrium becomes e2 for which price goes up as well because the new equilibrium point is at a higher level than that of the old equilibrium point and in the same way what happens or in i'll say in in reciprocal way what happens when demand false what we can see when so let me let us draw a demand curve and a supply curve again for example this is the initial supply curve and the initial demand curve this particular axis shows price this particular axis shows quantity and this is our equilibrium point e1 this is our price and this is our quantity traded so when demand falls when demand for product falls the demand curve shifts leftward the demand curve will simply shift leftward or some calls it downward so when the demand curve shift leftward means the old demand curve doesn't exist anymore this is a new demand curve and according to the new demand curve d2 and the supply curve which is still unchanged and same this is our new equilibrium point we call it e2 and at this new equilibrium point our price is p2 and our quantity traded is q2 so what we can see is that this is our initial price p1 this is our new price p2 p2 is lower than p1 so price has fallen so what happens when demand falls is that the demand curve shifts leftward and price falls from p1 to p2 all right 
and then another question which might come and which we also have to prepare for is that what happens when supply changes or supply rises or decreases over here what we have seen so far is the effect of a rising demand when demand rises the price goes up because this is a new demand curve and this is a new equilibrium and when demand falls the demand curve shifts leftward this is the new equilibrium point this is the new price so when demand falls the demand curve shifts leftward and the price goes down now the next question which is important for this particular chapter is that what happens when supply increases Right. So what happens when supply increases? So in order, in order to understand the effect of an increase in supply for a product, we first have to draw a demand and supply curve. For example, this shows price, this shows quantity, this is a supply curve, this is a demand curve. D1, S1. We're going to S1, D1 because this is the first or initial demand curve. This is the initial supply curve. And this is the point of this is the equilibrium e1 and at this point the price is for example we call it p1 and over is q1 so this is the demand and a supply curve of a product where e1 is the equilibrium point and the price set the market price of the product is p1 and the quantity trade is q1 so what happens when supply increases as we have seen in earlier chapters is that when supply increases the supply curve shifts rightward or downward so when supply increases the supply curve will shift right toward this is the right toward shift of a supply curve and when the supply curve has shifted this is our new equilibrium and this will be our new price because and the equilibrium sets the price of the product e1 is the old equilibrium after the shifting of the supply curve due to increase in supply e2 is the new equilibrium and this is q2 the new quantity traded and the price falls from p1 to p2 so what happens when supply increases when supply increases the supply curve shifts right toward and the price falls from p1 to p2 so that's the effect the price basically falls when supply increases because the supply curve shifts rightward which changes the equilibrium to e2 now let's come to uh, the next question probably the last one for this chapter which is what happens when the supply decreases Right, so in order to understand the effect of a decrease in supply, we first have to draw a normal demand curve and a supply curve. As you all can see, price and quantity. This is our equilibrium again E1, and at this price, at this point, our price is P1, and our quantity traded is Q1. Right, so when the supply of a product decreases, the supply curve shifts leftward. The supply will shift, supply curve will shift leftward. S2 will be our new supply curve, and the new equilibrium point will be E2. Thus, our new market price will be P2, and Q2 will be the quantity traded. What we will see when supply decreases is that the supply curve shifts leftward for which e to the new equilibrium point and the price of the product increases from p1 to p2 let me remind you the price is going up so when supply decreases for any reason the sub price of the product will go up because the supply curve shifts leftward changing the equilibrium from e1 to e2 so 
this is all we have to know about this particular chapter equilibrium what we have seen so far is that equilibrium is the point of intersection of the demand and the supply curve and this point and the price at this point is the market price so the price which you pay for buying a particular product from the market is basically set by the interaction of the demand curve and the supply curve which is the market price in order to find revenue of any particular product we only have to multiply the price of the product with the quantity supply revenue basically shows the money generated from sale of any particular good now next we saw is that the effect of change in demand and supply curve when demand rises the demand curve shifts right to us so in order to find out the effect what we did we first drew a uh, demand curve and a supply curve showing d1 and s1 all right and the price was p1 when demand rises the demand curve shifted rightward changing the equilibrium from e1 to e2 this is the new equilibrium and at this new equilibrium the price changed from p1 to p2 so what happens when demand rises the price goes up from p1 to p2 because the demand curve shifts rightward what happens when demand falls when the demand falls the de uh, the demand curve will shift leftward which means the equilibrium will change from e1 to e2 and the price and thus the price will change with it as well because the equilibrium identifies the market price of the product and the price changes from p1 to p2 because at p2 e2 is a new equilibrium point what happens when supply increases when supply increases supply curve shifts right toward because uh, that's a general phenomena that when supply increases, supply will shift right to it. So the initial equilibrium point was E1. Due to increase in supply, the supply curve shifted to S2 rightward and E2 is the new supply curve where price of the product decreased from P1 to P2 as you can see. And what happens when supply decreases, when the supply curve supply decreases, the supply curve shifts leftward which is S1 to S2 and the equilibrium changes from E1 to E2 and due to this shifting equilibrium changes and price goes up from P1 to P2 so a decrease in supply curve or decrease in supply leads to higher prices and increase in supply leads to lower prices a decrease in demand leads to lower price and an increase in supply sorry an increase in demand leads to higher price so i hope now you all got you all understood equilibrium and why changes in demand and supply of a product in the market changes the price of the product thank you all for watching and please subscribe yourself